going on guys as you see we're in the studio not in the dealership today and I just wanted to make a really quick video more so to get opinions from you rather than to give you mine on this one so some of you may have heard some of you may not but Livewire is going to be switching over to its very own brand they're calling this the hardwire program and essentially they're going to move the live wire out from underneath the Harley Davidson umbrella. So if you haven't heard any of this news, I'll kind of give you some of the details that I got. I literally just finished watching the video from the CEO. It was a five minute video. Uh, I did watch it on HDNet. I don't know if I'm allowed to share that info or not. So I didn't want to play the video just to avoid any potential issues. But essentially um, they're going to be opening a company owned live wire dealership in California. They're also going to focus on New York and Texas as they see that demand for electric vehicles is the greatest in these areas. I would have to agree with that. So they're supposed to do a launch July 8th and they're going to launch the first live wire branded bike. That's what he said. So I'm curious on that if that's going to be a redesign of the live wire obviously I wouldn't expect it to be a very very heavy redesign or is it just going to be a rebranded different graphics slightly different looking live wire that we've all known um, also I had the question what are Harley's motives behind this why are they separating it so as we know Harley kind of had some bumpy financials recently uh, I didn't know if because sales on the live wire are not that great if they're trying to separate that from their financial stuff so that things look a little better for them. Um, I also saw some comments on one of the forums where someone said that, you know, Harley's kind of severing ties so that they can let the live wire die out and it won't directly affect Harley because it's its own brand. Now, I don't know if that's the case or not. Again, that's kind of why I'm making this video. I want to hear your opinions. I know the people that watch my videos are usually really in the know, so I'd love to hear from you guys what you think on that. The one thing that makes me think that may not be the case, this was a direct quote from him. He says, our ambition has been to lead an electric. So you would think if he's going to put out something saying that, it kind of looks bad if their ambition is to lead an electric and then they literally let it go off and die. So maybe that's not going to be the case. Um, he also said we're still defining desirability, which means they know at the $30,000 price point, the numbers speak for themselves. They haven't sold a ton of live wires. So I think they're still kind of trying to figure this thing out, maybe try to get the price point down a little more. Because in my opinion, the people that are buying these are the younger generation you know the people that have no desire to have a, a combustion engine also i thought it was interesting that he said um they were going to be contacting dealers that currently sell the live wire to give them transition details so i don't know what that means for them hopefully somehow in this way they all come out in the good and they don't get screwed uh, that was all the notes that I had guys. I'm just curious what you think. What do you think about the live wire? Good idea, bad idea. Have you had a chance to ride one? I personally have not. I've ridden the Zero bike. Uh, it was actually a trade-in at the Harley dealership that I make my videos at. So I took it for a spin. It was awesome. Uh, tons of power as soon as you hit the throttle. I didn't go far. I didn't go crazy. Rode around the parking lot and up the street and right back but it was fun. Would it be my primary bike? No, absolutely not. I do long distance stuff, uh, not necessarily long distance rides, but I mean, I'm doing 30 miles one way as a commute. I don't really think the electric bike would be for me as a primary bike. And as a secondary bike with the live wire being 30 grand, again, not very practical for me, but I'd still love to ride one. Hopefully I'll get that opportunity eventually. I don't know as far as my true opinion on whether or not I think they're doing this to really try to pump the brand or they're doing this to try to dump the brand. But like I said, that was the point of this video. Curious what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below.